Hi everybody, it's Allie. So I failed to make my February favorites video from head to toe um, and I felt that it was just kind of an odd time in the month to try to make that. I mean it's already halfway through March. So I decided to just do a combination of my favorites from head to toe for the month of March and the month of February. Um, that doesn't mean I can double up on things. I still have to pick one thing so that's my fault and I'm going to punish myself by only allowing myself to do one thing per body part and I think I got every body part but I probably didn't. I mean I, I never get every single thing. So I did gather some items that I want to show you guys because they're things that either I've been using or I just discovered and it's just my favorite at the moment and again if you haven't seen this video before or this style of video, which I've only made one, so and what does it make it sound like I've done so many of these, but this is actually my second one. Anyway, the one I did for January, what it is, is I get to choose just one thing per body part and I call it my favorite. Um, so why don't we just get started? So starting from my head, which in turn would be my hair, which today looks really good. I'm really excited. And it's because I actually had a little help from a, a curling iron. Not a lot of help, just a little bit. Because remember, I'm trying to be uh, as heatless as possible. And today was the first time I actually used heat on my hair in a really long time. And it was only maybe 50% of it. Okay, so true confessions. True confessions. Okay, but starting with my hair. Okay, now I made it like a big fur ball. Okay, so I had many items to choose from because I have found some hair products that I'm really loving right now. But there's one thing that I just found, and I actually found it by mistake, or um, you could call it fate, whatever you'd like to call it. Um, it's because of a sale that I bought this product here, and it was a sale at. Rite Aid and it just happened to be in their little end shelf aisle where they have all their clearance stuff and I thought oh well I need stuff for my curly hair so why don't I give this a shot and this is called the FX and it's just FX um, Wild Harvest Hair Curls Up uh, Serum Cream and it says that it reactivates curls, repairs, frizziness and split ends. So first of all I had never heard of this brand before. It looks a lot like Bumble on Bumble. Now here's the thing. I can't find this anywhere else and as soon as I started using this and I realized how much I really liked it I went crazy and I went back to Rite Aid and it was all gone I went to like three other Rite Aids it was all gone okay so apparently this stuff is really popular and I didn't know about it until again I saw it on sale and I thought oh let me give it a shot it was only like three dollars it was on sale for 50% off or something like that so it was a really good deal and I'm really, really bummed out that I can't find this anywhere else. I went online, I started researching about it, and apparently a lot of people like this stuff. Um, not just this particular product, but they have different things. Now, the only thing that I don't like is that apparently they changed their packaging. So it doesn't look anything like this anymore at all. I think this actually looks... It's like a tall yellow, like neon yellow bottle now. And it doesn't say anything on it like it does on here where it says that it's sulfate free, paraben free. It doesn't say any of that, at least not visibly. So I'm kind of un unsure about it. I don't know if maybe they changed the formula or what happened to it, but at least I have this whole thing to go through. So maybe by the time I'm done with it, I'll find something else. But if you guys want to give it a shot and you're at a Rite Aid or a Walgreens or CVS, um, even Target I, ha I heard sells it, Walmart. It's definitely a drugstore product. Did I say that right? Drugstore product and you can try to find it online as well. There it is. It's called the FX Curl Up or Curls Up. Give it a shot if you find it. Definitely buy it if you find it. If you have curly hair. I don't know how I would work on straight hair because I don't have straight hair. Um, and going down to my face area, I am like OCD when it comes to SPF for my face. I'm always putting SPF on my face. I don't care if it's sunny, it's raining, it's snowing. I'm always wearing SPF. And if you guys don't know, that's the number one item or product you should be using on your face on top of anything. And the reason why is because the sun is what ages us. So if you use SPF, your signs of age or aging will not be as noticeable. At least that's what I like to tell myself. Is it proven? Yes, it is. So 
that's why I do it. And I actually found this recently, and it's a set of fill UVA, UVB Defense SPF 50. And this is for your face. Now, SPF 50 for your face is hard to find. So this was actually an excellent find, and I got this at CVS, I think. And it's not super cheap, it was $14. Um, but you can go on the Cetaphil website, you can get a manufacturer scoop on, I think for like a dollar off. Actually, I think it's on their Facebook page. And when I bought this and I got it out of the box, it had a $4 off coupon. So essentially you can get the $1 manufacturer coupon plus that $4 coupon. Next time you go buy this, it'll only cost you nine bucks. So that's pretty cheap for some face SPF and I've been using this for a little while now maybe what three weeks or so and it hasn't broken my face out so so far so good so favorite for my whole face um, another thing that I have chosen and this is for my eye area and well I'm gonna say my under eye area because I have another product but this is for my eyelashes okay this other product anyways before I confuse you guys I have a really hard time finding a good concealer and I, I think I just found my holy grail concealer and this is the Age Defiant Revlon concealer and it is SPF 25 so again SPF which is fantastic um, especially under your eyes because this area is super delicate. Why do I like this concealer? Because it does not crease. I cannot find concealers that don't crease. Holy smokes, I don't know how many I have tried, and I've tried all the way from Bobbi Brown to your low-end Coastal Scents, and to me that's low-end, I'm sorry if you like Coastal Scents, I honestly didn't think their products were that fantastic. Anyways, this stuff is just amazing, it's not very heavy, but it still does a good job, and I'm actually someone that has really dark under eye circles, I also have like some... um little veins coming through here just because my face is really light colored especially under my eyes it's like super thin so sometimes you can see all the little tiny little veins and everything and this actually helps out a lot I love it this is something that I'm definitely gonna need to stock up on and this is in the color light um, amazing give it a shot if you're looking for a good concealer Whoa, almost dropped that so talking about another product for my eyes but this time is my eyelashes so it's a different body part in my set of rule books when it comes to this favorites video um, and this is something that I've already talked about before I think I've talked about it a gazillion times and it's my Chanel inimitable mascara in black um, this is not the waterproof version and this is the best mascara that has ever been created and I have tried and tried to find a dupe for this and I cannot find a dupe for this. If you think you have a dupe for this, let me know because I will try it. And I have tried a lot of mascaras. A lot. I don't know if you've checked out my video on mascaras, but after that video I tried like 10 other mascaras and I still can't find a dupe. So if you can buy this, even if it means splurging on one item, I would get this because this stuff is absolutely amazing. Um, for my lips, the lip butters have been amazing or at least one of them, the creme brulee, that's my favorite lip butter and it's still great but there's one lipstick that I found that I just love and I don't know if I've already talked about this or not, I probably have so I apologize but it clearly is a favorite because I'm talking about it again and it's the L'Oreal, what is this stuff, Color Re Reach Fish. I'm sorry, how do you say that? Anyways, it is an 800 Ferris Nude. I'm sure many of you guys have heard of this color because I've heard of it before and I just never paid attention to it and I finally bought it and I freaking love it. This stuff is like, number one, it goes on like butter. Number two, it smells really, really nice and it's really cheap, at least in my opinion. I got mine for five bucks at Walgreens. It was on sale. Sometimes it's actually like nine or eight bucks. So if you find it on sale, get it. It's totally worth it. And it's very moisturizing. It's not a color that's like, bam, you have something on your lips. It actually looks very subtle, very neutral, very natural. And I love it. So that's that. Um, going on to my nails. So right now, I don't know why my nails look blue, but they're not. They're purple. They're like a really awesome purple, and then I have like a nail accent on them. Did I just say a nail accent? Duh. I have nails on. Yes, my own, but I have a gold accent. Holy smokes. I can't think today. 
think it's all the curlies in my hair. Okay, that made no sense. Um, this is the Wet n Wild. It is not blue. I don't know why it looks blue. It's an awesome purple, but it is called, oh, here it is, On a Trip, and it's number 213C. This is one of their newer colors, and this color is just awesome. I love it. Um, I wish you guys could see the true color of this because this is not right. It doesn't look right. And um, I actually purchased this because one of my good friends on Twitter and YouTube, and she might be like, well, I don't even know you, but I, I find her to be a good friend because she's always talking to me and giving me advice about different things, and she always posts really posts really interesting things, and she's doing the whole um, nail polish project thingy that I'm doing. Um, one day she posted about this color, and I went and found it, and I love it. So thank you so much, Sea of Neon. I really love it, and I know you do too because you told me so many times. Um, so if you guys can find this, definitely go check it out. And I'm going to do the rest really quickly. Oh my god, how could I forget? Hula. This stuff is amazing. I'm sure you guys have heard of Benefit. I mean, who hasn't? But I just got this again. I had this a thousand years ago, and then I tossed it because I thought, oh, it's really old, and I can't believe I tossed it because this stuff is awesome. This is like the best bronzer or contouring powder that I've found, which you can also use as an eyeshadow. And it may not look very dark, in fact, you can't really see it, but this stuff blends really well, and it's very nice, natural-looking bronzer. It's not shimmery, which I love. I don't like shimmery junk on my face unless it's on my eyes, and even on my lips, I have a hard time wearing lip gloss. So this stuff, you guys should try it out. It's something that has been my favorite for a very, very long time. I just don't know why I tossed it last time. Um, moving on to other body parts such as my torso area, I guess you could say. Um, this shirt here, which you guys are not going to be able to see very well because it just looks like this huge blanket. Um, but I did wear it in one of my last videos and I think it was the one where we went to go do our photo shoot for our family um, at the beach. It was like outfit of the day. I'll try to link it below so you guys can see it. But anyway, I love this shirt. I wear this shirt a lot, actually, and it's because it's so comfy, and it's just colorful and just breezy and makes me feel all excited about spring. As far as the cost, I can't remember, but I got this at Target, and I think it was like 15 bucks or something. So, And I think they still have them. I'm not sure, and if they still do, they might be in their clearance aisle already. So before I go on to my shoe, because it's my foot and it's the last part of my body, I wanted to just talk about these jeans really quickly. These are actually blue. These actually come off as the correct kind of blue. Um, very, very comfy jeans. I got these at the dailylook.com. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of the Daily Look. They actually have um, daily outfits that they post on their website, and you can go and purchase them at fairly good prices. I think I got these for 20 bucks. I can't really remember, but I wear these a lot. I mean, they already have a hole. I don't know where, they, where it is. Anyway, because I'm always wearing these. They're so comfortable. They're not jeans. They're like jeggings, I guess, um, because they're stretchy. And the color is still very vibrant, even after I've washed it several times. Um, so I really, really love these. Definitely one of my favorite pairs of pants right now. Almost wear them every Friday at work, because that's when we have casual Friday. And last but not least, my favorite shoes right now, and actually these have been one of my favorite shoes for a while, um, it's these booties from Fancy Steps. I don't know if you guys have checked out Fancy, Fancy Steps yet, but they are an up-and-coming awesome shoe line website that has not only shoes, sometimes they sell clothes and jewelry and things, but I got these um, a while back, actually, when they had just started with their... Um, they're different booty lines, and I really, really, really love these shoes. I don't think they sell them anymore. They might. In fact, if they watch this, if the gals from Fancy Step watch this and think that these shoes will sell again, please put them up again. I guarantee you people will buy these because these shoes are so comfortable, and I am not a platform kind of shoe person, but these shoes are amazing. And... I'm starting to run out of time, so really quickly I'll say they have an awesome platform, they're super comfortable, they have a zipper on the back, oh sorry, on the side, so it doesn't mean you have to lace it up every time, just perfect shoes that you can slip on and get out the door, and it pretty much goes with anything. So, that's it for my favorites, again this is my February and March because I totally am behind, and I will go now, thank you guys for watching.
Love you. Many kisses. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.